yeah so welcome back to this youtube channel so today i will be explaining to you on how to uh, download or how to visualize the various command area maps of indian reservoirs for dams from wris so as you all know wris is uh, the water resources information system that's right uh, which is managed by the central government where you get information regarding uh the reservoirs in india the basins the intervention water transfers and also the command areas uh, how the canal distribution uh, and uh the the water is transferred within the command area of of of, of different dams uh, within different basins in in india so so we will be uh logging into the wras website and then we will go to this water data tab and from there we'll select projects from the drop down menu and then uh we'll go to the water resources projects in india uh so this website takes uh some time to load uh and sometimes uh if if you are not able to access the data then you will have to check after after i while so that uh if if there are some issues with the website then 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 uh, you won't be able to access the data so you will have to wait for some time and again 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 log, log into this website yeah uh so uh here i'll just show you what are the data which is available in 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 this website so for that you will have to go to this information summary and in the information summary you can see the data or the attributes which are already loaded so you have information regarding the major dams uh, the power house of major dams and then uh, the the barrages and weirs weirs at different locations and also if there are any lift irrigation schemes that is also visible and the command area details and the server details are visible so the number of attributes Uh, or the number corresponding to each attributes which are available is also shown here. So now uh, uh, I'll just uh, maybe with the example of a a dam in India. Uh, so I'll just explain to you how to look into this data with the example of the Idki Reservoir uh, in 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 Kerala. So Idki is a reservoir in the Periyar Basin, uh, and the Idki Dam. is a major hydroelectric project in the country uh, and also the water after generating hydro power is uh, carried uh, is is allocated for irrigation supply in 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 a different region so i'll explain to you this in more detail so i am just searching for the idikki dam so where you can use this search option uh yeah so so what are all the attributes which are related to idki dam will come in search 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 menu i mean as a search result so uh, the muvathipuri irrigation project is basically the irrigation project from where the water is taken from the idki dam and then uh before reaching the muvathipuri irrigation project the water from the idikki dam after generating hydro power reaches the malankara reservoir right and uh, now uh, we can directly go to uh, maybe we can we can directly select the muvathipuri irrigation project and also parallelly visualize the idikki dam and also how the water comes down from the idikki dam uh yeah so this is basically the idikki reservoir and uh there are two major dams here so one is the cherathoni dam and the other is the idikki dam so what you see here uh, maybe i'll just use the draw option so that it's more visible so this is basically the cherathoni dam and then there is an arch dam here which is the idikki dam so the water when there is an excess of 
uh, inflow the water is released downstream from the Cerrone dam and it goes downstream as phase. Yeah. So now we'll look into the command area details. So what happens here is uh, the water uh, is taken through underground turbines. The water is taken through underground turbines, which is constructed uh, in which is which is constructed and the water which is constructed in the downstream of Kiriki Reservoir, and then the water reaches the Molamatam power. House. So at the Molamatam powerhouse, the hydropower or uh, there are turbines which generate hydropower. Uh, and uh, the reason why the water is uh, taken through this huge to this huge turbines uh, using underground tunnels is to utilize the head that is available for generating hydropower. And this water is taken from the tail trees of the Idiki dam. Yeah. And then further, this water moves downstream to the Muvatipuda River, and then it reaches the Malankara, it, it reaches the Malankara Dam. And from the Malankara Dam, the water uh, is taken further into the command area of command area of the Idiki Reservoir. Yeah. So, so now we'll be discussing about the major discussion topic here, that is the command area. So what you see here is the entire command area uh, of, of the Idiki Dam, and which is located in the Muvatibuda Basin. So, so what you see here, which is represented using this hashed uh, lines is the command area. So now the question that pops up in the mind is that why is it represented using hashed color? Because if you look here uh, about the data which is available, so so if you look in the information table, you can, I mean, there are, since for some reason it's not loading, yeah, it's now now it's visible. So there are two types of command area, like which are already completed projects and which are ongoing projects. So the the Muvatipuda command area is an ongoing project, so that is why it's represented using the hash line. Now uh, I'll explain to you about how the water uh, is taken from the Malankara uh, dam. Uh, into the command area. So there are canal distributions. So these are the canals. So what you can see here, these lines which are represented using this gray or uh, maybe ash color are, are the uh, left as well as the right bank canal. So if you want to know more details, you can just click on all these, uh, all these lines or this hashed areas and you can read about the information which is available. So this is the right bank canal of the Muvachipuda command area. And again, this is the left bank canal, right? And then uh, if you click here, you will be able to see there. Uh, you will be able to see the command area details, like what is the average annual water potential? What is the average annual runoff, et cetera, that comes into this command area? I mean, which comes into the dam and then which is released into the command area. So now if you have to, uh, I mean, within the command area, these are the major canals which distribute water to the command areas and then to distribute water into the command area, there are distributaries. So uh, these pink colored lines represent these uh, distributaries, which takes water from the main canal uh, into the command area. So if you want to see the information regarding distributaries, then you will have to uh, maybe use some of these filters coming to this chart option. Uh, you select canals. 
and then you can click this option of using the spatial filters and you can click on apply and if you uh, keep on scrolling down you will be able to see the major canal so if i click on the left bank canal option available here so you will be able to see the left bank canal uh, in red line <laughs> uh, and again there is this right bank canal Uh, so this is the right bank canal, uh, which is represented using this red lines here. So this is how uh, the canals are distributed uh, within the camera data. And now, if you want to download the map of this command area, so previously, uh, for for some of my projects, I used to contact the command area development authority, and I used to take maps from that. So now since the data is already available in Google's website, you will just have to maybe take a printout of the data. So you can go to this print option and then uh, you can print this data as a PDF. So, so that is how you download the command area maps and then you can maybe use ArcGIS, QGIS or some remote sensing software to georeference this command area and then you can uh, you can maybe calculate the area of the command area and further uh, you can do your analysis using this command area. For instance, if you have to calculate the irrigation requirements of the command area, or maybe you will have, if you have to come up with some management policies for this command area, so you can just simply download this. You can see your reference using the coordinate points and then you can, uh, you can carry out your research. So that is all for uh, today's video. So I'll meet you, meet everyone, meet, meet you guys in, in the next video where I'll be coming up with more relevant information. Thank you. Thanks for watching.